students in this ppt video we are going to learn about three cell organelles first one is mitochondria for any activity to do we need energy right so the energy required for various chemical activities needed for the life is released by mitochondria and it is released in the form of atp molecules that is adenosine triphosphate molecules as a mitochondria release the power it is known as powerhouse of a cell and the atp is known as the energy currency of a cell and about the structure the mitochondria have two membrane covering instead of one one is here the outer membrane which is porous and the inner membrane which is deeply folded which is deeply folded and these folds create large space for ATP generating chemical reaction that means ATP generating chemical reaction is going to take place where in this deeply folded region okay and the one speciality is there for the mitochondria they have their own dna and ribosomes you know ribosomes are will help in the manufacture of proteins okay this is all about mitochondria the important questions are uh, name the cell organelle which is known as powerhouse of a cell and the full form of atp adenosine triphosphate and dash is known as energy currency of a cell and name the cell organelle which have uh, their own dna and ribosomes so one more is there one more cell organelle is there which is having their own dna and ribosome that will be discussed in the next slide here you can see the picture of mitochondria next is the next cell organelle is plastid plastid is present only in plant cell and they are also double membrane bound structure double membrane bound structure and they have their own dna and ribosome important point you have to keep in your mind name the cell organelles which have their own dna and ribosomes they are one is mitochondria which we already discussed and second one is plastids okay an enfolding of membrane is called thylakoids that is this enfolding it is known as thylakoid and the matrix is called stroma matrix is called stroma and two types of plastids are there one is chromoplast and another one is leucoplast chromoplast means colored plastid which will provide color so if it contains green color or green pigment that is chlorophyll which is useful in photosynthesis then that plastid can be called as chloroplast if it contain green pigment or chlorophyll the plastid can be called as chloroplast and it can also contain various colors like pigments like yellow orange and leucoplast they are white or colorless they are white or colorless plastids and they have they stores the materials such as oils proteins fats starch etc okay so these are all about plastid here you can see the picture of it and the next to last uh, cell organelle is the vacuoles which you already studied in your 8th standard so vacuoles are storage tanks for solid and liquid contents and vacuoles you know they are small sized in animal cell and they occupy a larger space in plant cell okay and in plant cell vacuoles are full of cell sap which provide turgidity and rigidity to the cell support and these includes amino acids sugars organic acids proteins etc okay and the case of some of the unicellular organisms such as uh, amoeba you might have heard about food vacuole right last year we studied the diagram also food vacuole we marked it so in those single cell organism how do they acquire food amoeba acquires food with the help of pseudopodia right they engulf the food with the help of pseudopodia that food is stored in the food vacuole okay and in some other unicellular organism these vacuoles also plays an important role in removing the waste or expelling the waste from the cell so these 
is all about vacuoles i hope this mitochondria plastids and vacuoles are clear to you so we almost completed the portion here is the picture of vacuole uh, in a plant cell so we almost completed the portion of uh, the fundamental unit of life i hope it is clear to you so remaining uh, we'll discuss it later so till then take care and bye